so excited about being one of his children. And with that being said, he's more than able. Because I know he can do it. I'm a child of his. He's more than able. Who am 
Apostle Ricardo will be ministering today. So can we clap our hands, give glory to God. We have been knowing them for many, many years. Come on, please welcome man of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a shout? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's such a pleasure to be here. Hallelujah. Praise God with this family again. Praise God. I just want us to, we're going to, we're going to pray. Hallelujah. And then what I would want us to do 
after I pray, I would want us to uh, pray in tongues for about a minute. And you see, because every one of us came here with an individual need, and God who uh, knows in secret uh, will reward openly. Hallelujah. It is not so much me. It's not so much uh, uh, Apostle Kathleen. It's not so much the apostles, uh, but it's God. And we have a secret weapon. And that is in tongues. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, even right now, dear God, with the authority that you have given me, I take authority right now over the atmosphere. Right now, Father God, seated, O oh God, in the heavens. I take authority over every dominion in the second heaven. I take authority over every principality. I take authority over every spirit of wickedness. Now, in the name of Jesus, I bind them up. I decree and declare there will be no communication between them. I disrupt their communication now, in the name of Jesus. I blind the eyes of the enemy, even right now. I overturn right now every evil altar, in Jesus' name. I shut down right now. Every monitoring spirit, they cannot see a shat nakaraborenda, a kandarabusa, ramakata. I take authority over the spirit of infirmity, I take authority over the spirit of disease, sickness. I take authority over the spirit of confusion, familiar spirit. I bind them, the spirit of heaven, the spirit of cancer. I bind you in the name of Jesus, all unclean spirit. You are bound in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord, Matthew 18, 18, say when I bound and when I stop and when I shut down, it is shut down in the name of Jesus. Father God, even right now, release your angels according to Psalm 103, 20 to 21. Let them execute the word of the Lord. That is ministered even now in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's speak in tongues. For a minute, Robacata Caranta Cabasa, Rashak Takabata, that's war, Rashak Nakanamata, in the Cabasanda, Ere Shak Nakaraboreta, Yanda Rabata, Yanda Rabaca, Ere Esha Taraborete, Ere the Goro Sheke Rashanda, Randa, 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 come on, Woho. Wo 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 ekere katarabashuturu rasak nakarabote reshak nakarabata raya rasha embreke takabata embreke katabata rasha kataba endebe kata rasha takataba if you have to use your hands use your hands rakta katabaka let the lord know your heart rana katabata rana katabata if you have to stamp stamp rasha takaboto ratakaba endere rakata etakatarata in Daraboto, and da and da and da in Brakata Bata Fata Bata Kata Ya in Dabakata Fire Fire Rakata Bata on the enemy Rakata Kadabata Ratakata Fire Fire and the enemy Rosoko Kadabata in Takarabu Rataka in Brakata Goboto in Brakata Goboto in Brakata Goboto in Brakata Goboto Rantakata Rankata 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 Ratakata we cut asunder cut asunder Rasakata every evil core Rakataka Sakata every evil core Rakata Baka come on come on push up and take it a kabato and take it a bakata Rana 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 Erebera Shanta Ereba Tokabata Yenena Chanta Rabodo in the Era Shakata Bakata Kata Rata Yata Rata Akabata push 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 in the Vera Sakarata, in the Kerabata Kataba, Rana Takasa, Anna Katabata, Rata Kabasanda. Hallelujah. 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 Heavenly Father, even now, we cover this place with the blood of Jesus. We establish the cross of Jesus in this place with the blood of Jesus. For the demons are afraid of it. Rashak Nakatabasa. We circle this place, every door, every seat right now. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Rasak Nakatabasa. Heavenly Father, we submit ourselves to you right now. We say our ears will be open. Our eyes will be open. And our heart will be open to receive in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. You may have your seat. Hallelujah. Praise God. Once again, it's a pleasure being with you guys here again. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, beautiful lady.
I don't know what you came for at this conference, but I know that the Lord knows that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The presence of the Lord is in this place in a mighty way. When we came here, the Bible says when the priests, when the worshippers sing and they worship, the priests could not even stand. Hallelujah. But I just couldn't even stand even when we just came in. And what the Lord said he's going to do, as the service progresses, he's going to increase the intensity of his glory. I prophesy to you, some of you are going to feel heat on your body. Hallelujah. While I'm just sharing the message. Hallelujah. I don't preach. I just share messages. And if that is happening, you just jump up and say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So that we can celebrate with you. And my God has been so good to me. When he releases the word that I re and I release with someone, he confirms it. So I know that is going to happen. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the high place. The high place. The theme of this conference is the prophetic voice. And God is releasing his voice strongly, strongly in this hour. There are some things that I would share with you another time, but so much that heaven is coming home to you. My wife and I, we have a lot of visitation by angels and, and the apostles shared that lights, beams of light coming down from the roof. Big strong men standing up in the living room. People calling my name. Hallelujah. But this is not only happening to me. It's happening to everyone that is pressing in to the Lord. So I'm bringing a prophetic word to you to let you know that there is an overlap with heaven and earth. People were saying uh, open heaven, but I'm telling you there is an overlap with heaven and earth. Right now there are angels standing right around this place. So as we talk about the high place, God is taking you to a high place. And it is even now in this hour. And it is directed by his voice. I want to ask you first, whose voice are you hearing today? I'm not just saying listening. Whose voice are you hearing today? Your own voice? The voice of the devil? The voice of men in society? Or the voice of the Lord? There is a war in the high place. A war in the high place. Do we have the slides? I wanted to give you some visualization so that we would see what is taking place in the high place. The voice of the Lord is prominent in this time. Daniel chapter 8, 15 to 19. We want to, to understand how can we hear the voice of the Lord or what is the strategy that he uses with his prophets in Daniel chapter 8 15 to 19 it says while I Daniel was watching the vision and trying to understand it there before me stood one who looked like a man and I heard a man's voice from Ulay calling Gabriel Tell this man the meaning of the vision. But Daniel was watching. And I'm asking you, are you watching? Are you looking? When you examine uh, Prophet Jeremiah and Daniel and Ezekiel, they would look and then they would hear the voice of the Lord. So in this season, God is speaking by things that is happening around us. And are you looking to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying in this season? 
Amen. Hallelujah. Do we have the slides up? I also want to read Daniel chapter 12, Daniel chapter 10, verse 4 to 9. It, it says, On the 24th day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river Tigris, I looked up, and there before me was a man dressed in linen with a belt of finest gold and around his waist. I heard the sound of his word. And when I heard the sound of his word, I fell into a deep sleep on my face, with my face to the ground. And as you read further on, when Daniel looked, the Lord spoke. What is happening in the high place? And what can happen to you? What is happening in the heavens? The word of the Lord to the sons and daughters of God today, which, which you and those who are uh, listening on, is that there is a war in the heaven. If you, the Lord, you know, I like to look at the news, CNN, a, a lot, and my wife would say, you're always looking at the news. It, it, it's just my grace and call. And you would notice there, there many times there are always a plane crash, two plane crash, a plane chip, another plane wing, a plane hit a bird. When we were traveling to go to, I believe, uh, I don't know if it's Bishop Hammond, I can't remember, um, we, uh, and on one of our travels, our plane was delayed because four planes hit four birds. What, what is that? Four planes hit four birds. And, and the Lord speak to me in numbers. And, and when we arrived at our hotel, they put us on uh, floor number four, which was the last floor. And, and, and the Lord is saying, you know, that there's a war in the heavenlies. And even there is a, a, a prophetic door that has been opened to you even now. Uh, last year you heard about the door, but when you, uh, uh, when you look at the symbol for this year, it has the symbol of last year in part of it, so the door is still t in this season. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Praise God. So let's go to the first. Okay, the first slide is there. I want to encourage you before I, how to put it, shake your faith a little bit. I don't want to say scare you. Psalm chapter 27, verse 5. It says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. Mm. He shall set me high upon a rock. You have to fight. For your assignment in the high place. The devil wants to take you up. And I'm not saying that to scare you, but I'm saying that so that you're going to be aware when you're fighting a war, you need to know what the enemy wants to do. But this war is in the high place. To so brace yourself, people. In the mountains or above the heavens, there are two spiritual activities taking place as we go to the next slide. And here we see symbolically the lion of the tribe of Judah and demonic entity fighting in the high place. I'm feeling a wind right now. My son just said, Daddy, you were standing next to the air condition. No, the angels are here. So there is a, a, a battle for position in the high place. A few weeks ago, we were praying in Washington, and we purposely prayed on a day that the witches were also doing their thing. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And we know that the lion of the tribe of Judah was with us. Because there's a battle for the high place. And God has a sense of humor. I always get information on the strategy of what that kingdom is doing. There was some time they were trying to have a gathering in, uh, in New York. And by mistake, they sent me an email. I don't know how it came to me. <laughs> I don't know. 
So I told in the church and we told our friends and they just, we prayed. And the gathering was shut down. I know others were praying, but you know, the Lord might be sending email to all of his saints. There was another time I got an invitation to um, the uh, um, the Masons, what, what do you call them? The, um, the lodge. I got, I got an invitation to a lodge meeting. And I said, what is this? But it was like on a Facebook kind of invitation. So I went and I scrolled around and he said, who is this fellow? Who invited him? But by that time, we all, I already know what they were talking about. Hallelujah! So there's a battle for the high place. And the Lord is saying, even for you, you're going to win this battle. You are going to win this battle. Oh. Hallelujah. So in the high place, there's a wall. We see the mountain at the distance of regular in a bit. But this season started in 5785 in October. The Lord wants us to look at signposts. And what that is saying to us is that this is a season of double favor for you. Five, double favor, double grace, double anointing. That is the symbol on the, on the extreme right. Hallelujah. But also, the next symbol on the extreme left is Zion, which means But maybe about 40% of the believers across the globe don't even know that this is what's happening. And the Lord is saying, there is war in the spirit. You have to war for your healing. You have to war for your breakthrough. You have to say, no, no, no. I want it now. And that's why at the beginning I said, yeah, well, let's just pray in, in tongues. And, and even uh, with, with our people, I said, when you're praying in tongues, do not just say. Because in the spirit, how you're feeling, you know, you're, you're feeling fed up. You say, no. You say, the enemy, I, you know, I want to throw him down. I want to kill him. Rakatatatabasana. And when you pray with the same spirit, rakatabasa, let me give you a secret. The angels unlock things and they can do things. It's a secret weapon communicating with the angels. Rapakata. Hallelujah. But the Lord says this is a season where the army on the earth and the army in the heaven will run together. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying you are horsemen in these times. Hallelujah. If you're understanding what I'm saying, you're not foot soldiers. Foot soldiers go slow. But horsemen, they are fierce. And they're coming with their swords to cut off people's head. Hallelujah. Praise God. And in the middle there, you see the symbol which is pay. It speaks about your mouth is necessary and needed in this time. Arakabatakanama Rosso Kotogodi Hashana Kata. Let's break this down a bit in the second slide. We're talking about the voice, the prophetic voice of the Lord. And the Lord gives signposts along the way. And this is a seasonal signpost as to what you have to do in this season and what is happening in this season. Are you with me? The 500, the focus is on five. It is hey, and you might have heard this on, on YouTube and many people talk about it, but the Lord is saying today, for you to understand what is taking place in the high place, you have to know how to fight in the high place and all the grace that I'm giving you in that high place. And it says, hey, means divine grace, divine revelation in this season for you. Five is also a number that represents high place. Are you with me? And this number is so powerful. Five. It speaks of the breath of God. The wind of God. Oh. I tell you, coming into this season, 
it was a good challenge for me because I would be sitting in my study and feeling breeze while the window closed. And sometimes I'm talking to a minister and I'm saying, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm feeling a wind inside my stomach. And I, oh, and I, 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 would try, I try not to talk about it, but I just can't get a comfortable with it, you know? It's so unusual. And, and, and even right now, there's a wind that is blowing. And the Lord says, his breath shall blow across tonight. Hallelujah. And it's not by me, it's not by my it's not by power, but it's by the breath of the Lord. Because when the breath of the Lord blows on you, he is healing you. He is healing you right now. The tithe represents the breath of the Lord, the word of the Lord. It is a creative thing that comes upon the people. Five is also represent the sound of a breath of wind. Hallelujah. The sound, the sound, the sound. It means the sound of angels. When angels visit, it's always because they are with God so much, it, it just the same, a similar effect that one would have when in the presence of the Lord, they, they just feel weak. I'm telling you right now, the breath of the Lord, the breath of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. In this season, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you prophetic information. In this season, there is going to be a, a, a challenging wind. Uh, there is going to be navigating the challenging wind in this time and this season. But you have to put up your Holy Ghost and say, Hallelujah. But more so, as we, as we see, 80 represents pay because uh, we know that numbers and the letters, that's how the, the Hebrew people speak. Uh, it means uh, uh, the, the, vow, the voice from the mouth, uh, a sound, a collective sound. When they had the, uh, uh, the, 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 the new season began in October and, and it ended in the 4th of October, it signified to me the Lord was saying, remember the door. But even they, 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 when they celebrated the beginning of the year, the Bible says that there were the sound of the trumpet or a collective shout of the people. So, wow. Wow. And the Lord is saying, tell the people in this church that there has to be a collective shout. A collective shout. And we're going to do that at the end. A collective shout. Scare the enemy away. All of these sickness, these diseases, all these things that is happening, this tormenting thing is by evil spirits. But they cannot stand the spirit of the Lord, the breath of the Lord. Hallelujah. They cannot stand the shout of the people of God. Hallelujah. Hmm. You would hear people talking about and in this season, which is five, five also represents, a, uh, in this season, it's an open window. And they will say, it's an open window. I hear an open window a long time. I don't know about you. Anybody here? Open window long time? Is it only me? Who else is here an open window? It's an open window. Right. Just, I hear that a long time. But the Lord said, it's not just an open window in this season. Heaven is opening wider. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if you understand what that, does, that means. If, if heaven is opening wider, I can see inside heaven. If heaven is opening wider, things inside heaven falling down. If heaven is opening wider, wow, angels, angels, wow, wow. And the kingdom of the Lord is spreading all over the earth. Because heaven is opening wider in China, wider in the U.S., wider in Maryland, wider in Trinidad, wider in the Caribbean. So I'm saying to you, open window, open heaven. And the Lord is causing a portal because the door represents, it's a portal to heaven, a portal to heaven. Sometimes I'm in my room or watching television and I'm hearing... Uh, 
someone calling my name. It's because heaven has opened so wide, it, it, it falls long in my house. It falls long in my house. And I don't know if you heard the story already. Just sometime, you know, my wife needed a fan and I was sleeping. And while I was sleeping, all of a sudden, I heard, Ricardo, Ricardo. And I said, ah, oh, I feel like that. And then I heard, Ricardo. And someone pulled my hand. And when I looked, I saw no one. But my arm was hurting. And I understand that was an angel. So I got up. I said, oh, take the fan. Carry it down. I said, I said babe, you, you, you was calling me? No. Oh, but I needed the fan. Hallelujah. Praise God. Angels are just surrounded in this place. Around this place. I was in a, I was in a conference a few months ago. And while we were worshipping, we were worshipping. All of a sudden, I felt someone, I squeezed my, my left arm, and I'm looking around, and I, and I didn't see anyone, and I'm looking around, and I didn't see anyone, and I was a bit confused, Pastor. Uh, yeah. uh, so, I said, uh, I said Lord, uh, you, you want to get my attention? What is that? And the Lord says, yeah, is that, is your angel, he's just giving you a little squeeze. God has a sense of humor. I said, what do you want, what do you want me to know? Uh, you want to tell me something? He said, no, I just wanted to let you know your angel wants to give you a little squeeze. Okay, that's good. Hallelujah. So there is a signpost that the Lord wants you to be aware of. Let's go to the next slide. Are you understanding what the Lord is saying in this time? There's a battle for the high place. And will you take your high place? Will you take your position? Because the Bible says in the last day, the mountain of the Lord will be the highest mountain and everybody's going to run to it. It means that you're going to have the solution and everybody's going to run to it. Hallelujah. I am making sure that I take my high place. In this year so far, I've written seven books. Yeah. The Lord showed me how and I'm beginning to show people how to do it. I wrote two books on AI. One is uh, AI for kingdom builders. Yeah. And the Lord always positioned me in a high place. I'm always in a place where the new technology is so I know what is going on. When they were doing the, 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 the RFI trip for the soon number 66, I was on the project. When they were linking up all of the government together and um, I went to a workshop with the International Telecommunication Union, everything is from you, you, Europe. You say, Ricardo, uh, you feel um, we'll be able to link up all of these governments together? I say, yeah, I know we'll do it because of the Bible. And even right now in, in, in the Caribbean, there was a special, right, this is on, right, this is on public, right, too. <laughs> yes. So I'm, I'm disclosing some things there. But there was a special project, and what is being done, I can say it like this, what is being done, there are pilot projects to link all information across the Caribbean and also the globe. And it so happens that I'm always on one of these projects. So when I speak, I speak with first hand information. But I want you to also, I want to go back here again to this battle in the high place. You'll notice the old uh, version of the Hey, is a hand like this in worship. What is that saying? God is saying, you yeah, with the battle in the high place, you have to be in worship, man. You have to be a worshiper. And the enemy comes and he says, praise the Lord. And you're going for a job and you say, here, what we, uh, we have none. And uh, by the way, um, uh, 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 your job, we understand, is going to be cut. You say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you continue to praise the Lord. You have to be in a stance of praise in this season, I'm telling you. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord is speaking to you. And the Lord is using me today. Before you were even born. The Lord knew you would have, would have a problem. The Lord knew you would not be able to move your hand. And the Lord said, today, today, I'm going to send Ricardo. I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him. 
And the Lord says here what? I'm going to give him some experience, not for him alone, but I'm going to give him some experience for that person there. So that they would learn to praise me. I have learned now to, when something happens, say, God, have something better, man. I was telling Apostle, uh, there was some time we were traveling and we tried to get um, priority boarding so that we don't have to go through the long line. And um, so I, I booked myself and it was going in circles. And I tried to book for my wife and, and, and it wasn't working. And then she used her computer and it wasn't working. And she got, she got you know, a little annoyed and she said, this thing not working. I said, I seen a, a message. I said, well, check it at the counter. And I was upset. I was upset. I said, gosh, we have to go to the line. So when we reached to the airport now, went up to the lady. We joined the, the priority line and went to the lady. I said, I was trying to book for my wife and, uh, and, and it wasn't working and I need to pay for her. She said, Oh, computer's not working. Forget about praying. Only go ahead. Say, Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So then I understood. The Lord says, you should be praising me. I want to help you. So now when something happened, I said, hmm, what is the Lord doing now? Something better is happening. Hallelujah. So you need to remember that is a stance that you need to be using in this season. A stance of praise. Hallelujah. But we got the war. Now the voice of the Lord is so unique. God in his prophetic dimension, every time there's a particular dimension in the prophetic, there's another dimension of it. And when you speak of the voice of the Lord, there's also the breath of the Lord, there's a fire of the Lord in the voice of the Lord. And you say, Dr. Ricardo, where is that? In Exodus chapter 3, and verse 2 to 4, I would not read it, but when Moses was going before the Lord and he saw the burning bush, out of the burning bush was the voice of the Lord. That is saying for you in this season is that a glory is going to be coming. And has come in this season for you. A fire glory. Going to burn away your past. Going to burn away the evil. Going to burn away all demonic entities that are around you. It's going to be burn, burn, burn. I believe at the beginning of this year, we saw a lot of fires on the earth. Right? We have something on a Thursday we call Bible Truth Revealed, where God has been giving us so much prophetic insight, we just decided to call our discipleship Bible Truth Revealed. So, there's another prophet from the U.S. And, we, and, a, and another one from Trinidad, and we were dissecting some stuff, and then we saw there was an anomaly that appeared on the eastern side of the globe. Most people who don't look at news all the time, like me, may not have noticed. And there was a red thing, and, and people said, what that, is that anomaly? And based on the name of it, the Lord calls us to, uh, uh, let us understand that was an angelic portal opening. And then the Lord says, there's going to be fire. Oh, Pastor Reginald. Oh. So when we say that, people will say, oh, fire. And then afterwards, was fire. So the Lord says, tell the people, I'm going to send a fire in the earth, physical fire, but I'm sending Holy Ghost fire also. Hallelujah. And I'm prophesying. What is going to begin to happen even in this church? And uh, this church is going to be so crowded. I don't know how you'll be able to manage this. It's because the glory of the Lord is going to come in such intensity that people are going to come and start to scream out. I think, you know, uh, the leaders, we need to get some more leaders because what's going to happen? The pastor is going to preach in here. Ah! And one person, ah! And one person, ah! It's Glory of the Lord. You see, because God don't really need any pastor or apostle in this season, but he wants us to work with him. And because of this, the Holy Spirit is leading the task now. So in this season, come, there's going to be easy supernatural miracles by the glory of the Lord. Are prophesying here. I see the worship team worshiping here. Everything nice and dandy. The ladies in the nice dress. 
And all of a sudden, people skating down on the back there, rather about them. And the Lord says, Apostle, here, well, when that happens, don't worry about that, continue the service. Because they're rather about them, and after you hear, the, the, the drum is going to put the put the put the put But the Lord says, I'm going to come into my sanctuary, and I'm going to minister to my sons and daughters myself. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Lord, allow me to stand, please. Allow me to stand. Allow me to stand. Whoop. Whoop. Hallelujah. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, uh, so, so there is a, a wide opening in heaven now that has taken place. Hallelujah. 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 Now, as we look at this picture here, let me tell you. The battle in the high place means that we have to have people in ranks. We have to have order in the church. The pastor didn't tell me nothing. Huh? Because you need to remain in position. And God wants to release authority. But for you to have that authority, you have to submit to authority to have authority. So those who are submissive and obedient would have a lot of authority. But those who think that they have plenty of authority and do what they want, they will go but dwindle. I'm not giving you a bad prophecy about yourself. I'm just telling what the Lord says. Right? Hallelujah. So we must remain in rank. And we see in scripture where they talk about everybody in rank. Because I call our, I call our ministry ship. And I tell them I'm the captain of the ship. You're sailing by the Holy Spirit, you know, and by His wind. And there are several ships in the earth. There are several churches. But you see, when I, for me, when I use ship, it is not my church, your church. Yes, I am captaining a ship. You are captaining a ship. And we will go as a, a martyr together, an army going together, a force, and we're going to go against the enemy. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to you, stay in formation. As it is, the fivefold ministers, and I speak now as an apostle, that are established in the church and even in this church, and you need to stay in formation until the captain of the ship say, I'm going to ship your formation. And even it's the same God has set in the earth, even with presidents and, and even with the cabinet, God, every order that is in the earth, God has it in heaven. And if the Lord is now overlapping heaven with the church, then you have to have order like heaven. So leaders assigned to position, it's important. Gatekeepers, watchmen, intercessors, stay in position. But the Lord is saying, even in the season, I'm causing churches to understand, I want them to establish gatekeepers that are not just intercessors, but the gatekeepers would be prophetic uh, 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 intercessors are going to see ahead of, and then they're going to pray, rather than Reactive. Oh, I see the enemy trying something. Let us ambush, ambush, ambush. And the devil said, Whoa, what? What? I know. <laughs> I, I have my I have my gatekeepers and just the praying back home because I know the devil don't like a cross of that here myself at, at all. So we have to have ourselves covered. And he doesn't like it. This, you know, let me let you don't like the situation either, you know. It's a good thing that you all are praying right now. Hallelujah. So stay in rank. Hallelujah. Next slide. Hallelujah. Whoa. Well, I'm trying to stand. Oops. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it, it doesn't look uh, um, dainty, you know, and, but I'm very conscious when it's happening and I know Apostle know what I'm talking about. So uh, Psalm chapter uh, 18, verse 33. Speaking about in the high place, he says, He makes my feet like hinds feet, able to stand firmly, oh, and tread safely on paths of testing and trouble. That's the amplified version. Mm. Mm. You know what it is? You know how you ever look at a deer? That's how a deer moves. God says that you will not be going. 
He's going to cause you to hop and skip and jump. You're going to have so much joy. Huh? Because didn't the Bible say that the, the name of God is also joy? And if God come and live in your place, well, what are you having is joy. I remember one time there was something difficult happening, you know, with our, us, and, and they came to repossess a, a car, and 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 um, and, and, and our, somebody who said they were a pro, they were a prophet came. They said they had concern, and when they came and they said, hey God, how are you so calm? And then all this thing happening. I said, because the Lord is with me, and they said, I, I need to pray for him. But I had the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah! People would not understand because when you're calm in the storm. And I tell you, there's going to be storm. There is going to be storm. He sets me securely upon my high place. So I came to prophesy to you that the Lord is bringing a massive promotion to this church. Now, if you don't want to take it, you don't need to take it, but I'm telling you what it is. Hallelujah! And the Lord says, tell the people I'm securing their finances. Oh. I just, uh, whoa. I just feeling a whirlwind around me. He's securing your health. Rasha Katabas. He is securing your destiny. Hallelujah. See, I set, he set me in a secure place, secure place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. He's securing an apostle, uh, uh, myself so much that he's stretching us. He's stretching us. Because the Lord says, and I'll share, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share a personal conversation the Lord has with me because sometimes he, said, he tell you something for someone else. And I wrote in my journal, the Lord says, this is what I do with my people. I call them. So they get a call. And they're, they're called to, to be a pastor. They're called to a prophet. And they feel, oh, good. And some people feel that call is all of it. And the Lord says, and then I will position them in their call. But the Lord says, the position in the call is not at us yet. And, and, and the Lord says, I have positioned you in a call. And the Lord says, then I would increase them to another level in their call. And some people feel that is it. And the Lord says, that is not yet. But the Lord says, then I would elevate you to the position called afterwards. Whoa. So the Lord says, this is what I'm doing for you. And this is what I'm doing for my sons and daughters in this time. So whatever God have created you to do, you're going to be doing it in this time. Because the time is shortening. And, you know, tomorrow, do not miss tomorrow. Because I'm going to be talking about redeeming the time. And warring. Harashakabataka. Secure. Secure in that high place. Hallelujah. Ah, next slide. Hallelujah. Praise God. But you see, in that high place, you have to battle the spiritual warfare. And you're fighting for your inheritance because it's the only right that you do not be sick. And you'll be healthy because years ago the Lord uh, 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 told me just as the Israelites came out of Egypt, none of the diseases they put on them. And so as the spiritual Israel come out of the system of the world, come out of the system of the world, come out of the system of the world, none of the diseases I'm going to put on you. I'm giving you a, a prophetic insight here. There's going to be another terrible Global sickness coming to the earth. But the Lord wants to protect the church. I say wants to because you, the church will have to listen to what the Lord is going to uh, do and say how, how to treat with it. And he's saying even to you, none of these diseases I will put on you if you come into the high place. Hallelujah. So you feel like a boat. There is a storm in this time in truth. But the Lord wants you to use your faith. This is the revelation the Lord shared with 
me and put them. Your faith shield. And when we look at the the old uh, warriors that rode on horses, they had their shield in front. Some of them have a large shield, but the Lord says you're going to use your faith shield sci-fi. Meaning that you're going to have a shield around you in your back, a shield on the side, a shield in the front, and a shield on that side. So you're going to be walking in a bubble of shield. Hallelujah. You can search the scripture, you wouldn't find that, but that is revelation. The Lord saying, your faith, there's going to be a faith shield around you. Because he said, I'm going to protect your back, so you have that faith shield. He said, I'm going to be at your side, so you have that faith shield. So the Lord says, let the people know in the storm, I want them to walk in a faith shield. Because other time is going to come. But in the high place, sounds nice. But I don't know how many of you could breathe there. You have to acclimatize yourself. And you have to come in alignment. You have to train yourself to be in the high place. You have to train yourself in prayer. You have to train yourself to see, sight, sight, see. Because there was a story of one of the apostles, I wouldn't call name. And the apostles, they went up into a high place and that gave some revelation to the church. And while they were in the high place, the apostle almost died. A good person. But the high place didn't prepare. So I'm telling you now, and I'm urging you, don't forget this word. You have to prepare for the high place. You have to prepare. You have to come. You have to align yourself to the high place. How you align yourself to the high place, you have to align yourself for how heaven operates. In heaven, everything, everyone bow down before God. In heaven, the Lord says, do this, do that. In heaven, there are always angels. So that means some of you might get a little scared because when the Lord starts to show angels, ah! but I don't know, I see something and they're only the operation or something. At that time, it's an angel. And, and because, I mean, the Lord started to bit by bit show me some stuff and I know I'm supposed to do. I, I am sitting down uh, watching television. And I, I like to um, linger, you know, my wife would say, Sometimes like linger and then start and three o'clock reach. I say, no, I can pray and pray until four. She said, we're doing this all the time. We need to sleep. I said, I like, I like the prayer. Just when you ever need rest. And then one time I, I, I'm, I'm there and watching television and afterwards I'm just lingering and I see a light bouncing down the stairs and it, and it, it goes quickly. It bounces on. I'm like, what is that? Mm. Now if you're supposed to say, oh gosh, somebody gave oh, yeah. So you have to be prepared now for the high place. In the high place, there's going to be a lot of supernatural happening. Things are going to be holding your hand just like me squeezing your hand. Some of you might get a cloud. You know, all kinds of things are going to happen in the high place because uh, heaven is overlapping. You have to align yourself. So there's a new level of alignment, a new level of warfare. It's a time of calibration. God you know, is calibrating the church. When you see all these problems happening, God is calibrating the church for your physical, spiritual inheritance. And there's going to be very wind. Before I, I share the last scripture, I want you to look at Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Isaiah 61. Uh, because I tell you, uh, it is a glory. It's a glory. It's a glory. It says, arise. It's a command. It says, arise, arise, O people. Arise, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The Lord is shining. It's shining. He's risen upon you. He's going to use you so that others would know that sun shining. If you can understand that, you know, you know, if you stand by the window, people say, well, like the sun, the sun rising, just like that. So the glory of the Lord is going to rise upon you. So, wow. Hmm, wow. I, Lord, I don't know why the Lord is you know, putting that image there. 
My wife and I went to the gathering with Mr. Hammond. Nice sitting down outside, you know. I, I know sometimes when you, you know, ladies like to look around more than men, I have to put it in a nice way. Hey, Pastor, right? Right, Pastor, right? So I outside and I said, let me sit down and relax. I think this was noticed. I was inside sitting down, and this lady came and she says, Your Pastor? How oh, about Jean? She said, You look like a pastor. All of a sudden, the lady started to tell me her problems. Next thing you know, prayer meeting in the, in the lady's store. So I prayed for her, and after praying for her, the daughter came and said, I want prayer too. What is it? The light, glory. So the next day, because we had some leaders that say, we say Apostle, every day you're doing evangelism. I say, I, I'm not planning it. The next day, I'm sitting down outside. Um, and, the, and the ladies, ladies, uh, well, some ladies with us, uh, other ladies, and my wife went inside. So sitting down, so I said, "This time I'm sitting outside and just minding my own business." There's a guy there, you know, and I was sitting with him, you know. Um, he said, "How are you doing?" I said, "Okay, how are you doing?" I'm a friend. I said, "Oh, okay, what's your name?" All of a sudden, the, the man started to tell me his problems. I said, "Where are you?" And as I started to talk, he took out his phone and he started. He said, "Let me record." I said, I said "Okay, okay." And he can't get a record. I said, let me record it for you. And then I pray for him. Hallelujah. And every day something is just that God is going to cause his light to shine upon you. And whether you want to evangelize or not, you will evangelize. Because, Pastor, I didn't plan it. I just want to relax. But the people come in and start to talk. They start to talk. The glory of the Lord is going to rise upon you. And this glory is an empowerment glory. This glory is a glory for purification. This glory is a glory for the manifestation and finding of the people of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our scripture. Then we're going to pray. First Samuel. It says, And they answered them and said, He is. This was speaking about the prophet. He was, he was speaking about the prophet the say. He said, He is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city. For there is sacrifice of the people today in the high place. Mm. Sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice of praise. So God wants you, you're going to be sacrificing yourself, your praise. You're going to sacrifice your substance. If you want breakthrough, I'm telling you, the church of the future is going to be a church that uh, does like the bank. As they get, they're going to be a portal of transfer. I know God would bless some of you, and then you're afraid to give. Have bills to pay, and how the enemy will do it? The bills will be exactly what you get. But the Lord says, Do this and quickly give it. And He's going to open sacrifice, 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 sacrifice for the blessing. You have to calibrate yourself for the high place. Many of our leaders, they are well blessed, and some people want to know how they're blessed. And, I, and there are some, some uh, uh, members with us, uh, they're not so blessed. And our, a lot of our leaders, and other, we all, they're always testifying because they have calibrated themselves for the high place. Don't mind the book if it's not me. I'm not, an apostle can tell me to do, do anything. But I'm telling you, if you really want to be blessed, you have to be a giver. Some may look at uh, the African churches that say, whoa, what a growing. I have some African apostles. <laughs> and they, I don't know, they're walking on a pile of money. And they would, and they would just, one apostle wants to just do like that, and we went to minister and just go, whoo, whoo, what? You know, and, and it's like, that's normal. And he's very blessed. Hallelujah. We have to have that attitude. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read because I know there's going to be miracles today. So the scripture, the Bible says that faith come by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. Uh, Luke chapter 4, 37 and 41, it says, And the report about him went out into every place in the surrounding region. This was Jesus on whom there is the fullness of the glory. But let me tell you this also, is that there is going to be the fullness of the glory upon you because it is said that in Ephesians, it's a prayer. The fullness of his glory. Verse 40 says, And when the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him. And he, Jesus, laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And demons also came out of many crying out and saying, You are the Christ, the Son of God. Hallelujah. So all of the ministers that are here is myself. Jesus says that here, I am in God. You are in me. I am in you. So it's no longer Ricardo that is living, but Jesus is here through all of the apostles that is here. So therefore, hallelujah, if any minister that has Jesus lay hands on you, Jesus is laying hand on you. And therefore, when we are ministering, we are not too concerned, hallelujah, that whether it's going to happen or not, we know it's going to happen. We have something that we started, a once a month called Healing Room. And hear what? About 98% of the people, I want to say 100, 98% of the people get healed. And there's an apostle who, uh, he has the ministry a lot of the time, and say, we got anything to have having that come on. Because a lot of the other ministers, they come in to be in the pool to help. So not just myself, uh, myself and other apostles, we come and we, I say, you take that side, I take that side, and we minister to people. And Let me just build your faith a little bit. There was one lady came, and sometimes you just have to be obedient. And when she came, uh, she came with a walking stick and she couldn't see. And then they, they, they brought up, the leaders just brought up, and, you know, in the mind, like a challenge, you know. So they brought up and they put her, and, 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 and me, Ricardo, say, let me just pray for her sight. So I'm praying for her sight, and I, and I take authority over her sight, and I say, how much finger is seeing? I say, how much finger is seeing? How much finger is seeing? I say, okay, let me move on. So then I prayed for her legs, and then she got up and started to dance to her way to walk and stick. I said, whoosh. But I, I believe, Apostle, the Lord was just testing and training me. So I said, I want you now to call her daughter to find out how she's doing. So I called the daughter the next day. And she said, Mommy, start to see light. I said, oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So it may not be how I want it to be, but God will heal everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read a scripture. And the Lord said that his glory is going to be in the shout. And then I read the scripture. At a count of three, I want you to shout the name of Jesus. And in your heart, you cry out. And he would know what you're crying out about. But Joshua chapter 6 and 5, it says, And when the people, when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city will fall down flat, and the people shall go up, everyone straight before him. Hallelujah. God wants you to go straight into your purpose and destiny. Hallelujah. Just begin in tongues right now. Then I count and then you will shout the name of Jesus. Rashakna Karada Boto sit Rete Katanana Mata Ratakatara Shunto Kurumate Rasik Nikita Rabakata Ramakata Sheshe Shatamata Ratakasakna Karabato 
Romotore bere de bere shak nakara araba sundo rubakata rataka sataka sa rataka basa ramata rabakata and the musicians rabakata when the people shout the name of Jesus you play a rabakata as the spirit of the Lord would lead you rosek nakata bara kata bara esek nakata basak nakabata rotok roko roko toko resek naka rana na 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 shanta kana made. Rumba kataba sata kabasa at the count of three rekta kabata basata ramakata kamata at the count of three you shout name Jesus ramakata basata basa one rakta katabata randa katabata kabata rekte kibeto kurbata two rakta kataka kata rakabata kadaba three Jesus Jesus. It's a wave of glory. Come on, lift up those hands to heaven. If you can stand, if you can stand on your feet, get him up, get him up. If you can stand on your feet, lift up your hands to heaven and begin to thank God for this conference. Today is the first day. Come on, Paul. So, Hey! Come on, lift those hands and begin to talk to him and begin to bless God for the first day of this conference. Prophetic voice. Tomorrow will be greater. Amen. And Sunday. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up those hands. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the move of God. I give you praise and I give you glory. Mighty God, we thank you for your faithfulness. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen. I see there's a whip. There's a whip right here. <laughs> Take it. Oh, yeah. There. There. <laughs> The way of glory. You don't want to miss tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Church. Are you blessed today? Come on, let's give God praise. Let's give God praise. We're going to take our offering, time of offering. Apostle. Glory. Amen. Get them up. It's time to give everybody. Amen. Come on, can we bless the Lord for Apostle Ricardo? Come on, let's bless the Lord for him. Awesome teaching. Awesome teaching. Awesome teaching. Can I lay hands on you? If you need envelope, I'm also come with envelope. Let's take envelope. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a shout in this place. No, you've been empowered, so give God a shout in this place. Let the shout of a king be in this place tonight, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Has he been good to you tonight? Has he been good to you tonight? My God. So. Well, now that you know that you're alive and well, it's such an awesome privilege to be here once again with you at everlasting life. This is your blessing to you. Amen. 
this type of glory that is in this place. Man and woman of God, I want to say to you this. God is about to change the name of this church. Mm -hmm. By the end of the year, he will give it a name. This is no longer a Christian center. This is an apostolic center. My God. An apostolic center. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Little they'll get that next week they'll get that about next week just about just about next week just about just about just about you have no idea what you are going to partner with heaven to facilitate in this block By the time we get done on Sunday, this becomes a portal for heaven to ascend and descend. It means that you have got to partner with God. It's looking for partnership. And so everything begins and ends with your that's your worship. That's the first level of your worship. Your obedience. In your giving. Under the sound of my voice, some of you, you need to repent right now. Because you've not been obedient. See, delayed obedience is still disobedience. You've been asking for seed to sow. But you've been eating the seed. He says, if you don't stop eating the seed, you will get sick from eating the seed. So it ends from tonight. Amen? Say, I'm no longer in that place of disobedience. going to sow tonight, but you're going to carry an envelope home with you. And you're going to go before the Lord. And you're going to ask him, come Sunday, you're going to sow a seed towards your nets. Because that's what we're doing. We're shifting to next level. And so, you're sending your seed for Nama. You're sending your seed ahead of you. So you're going to sow tonight, but you're going to carry that envelope and you're going to bring that special seed on Sunday label my nets. There are many of you you want to give. But I decree and declare over you here tonight.
that he's going to bring seed to the sower because you're a sower. So you begin to call your seed out of the realm of the spirit to locate you in the natural. My God. You begin to speak. Prophesy. Call that seed unto you. Because you don't want your neighbor to move on to their necks and leave you behind. So get ready to sow. And we're going to bring. I'm going to drop it in the basket here. That's how we do it. Yes. So come. Come and worship God. You know the first evidence of worship? You can come along while I carry on with my bravado here. You can come. We don't want time is already well spent. You can start. Oh, okay, good. The folks on line, because you are in the comfort of your home, you can doubly give for this luxury. So, we have cash app. Um, is that dollars? Dollar sign, everlasting, just the way it's spelled with a capital E, E-V-E-R-L-A-S-T-I-N-G, life, L-I-F-E-C-C. -E -C. No space, everything in one. Or you can go to the website, everlastinglife.org slash give and you will get everything there where you can just press the knobs and everything will be in order or paypal you can use finance f i n f i n a n c e at everlastinglife.org or all those zealous we can do finance f i n a n c e at everlastinglife Dot org. On behalf of Apostle and his beautiful wife, we want to thank you for your continued support across the globe in your giving. Amen. We thank you for your partnership. And more importantly, heaven thanks you for partnering with his work in the earth, in advancing his kingdom in the earth. But we want to encourage you as well. Go before the Lord and send that special seed towards your next. Amen. So, musicians, chime up. Give me a little Africana thing, no man. Give me a jazzy business. Give me a little, bring it, bring it. Come so they could come. I want them to be cheerful, dancing, coming up here. Come. Now we are talking. Hey, hey. That's right. Hands and foot, come on. Cheerful, cheerful. Hey. Remember your praise. You're sending it up ahead right now. Oh my God. I just want to praise him. I just want to praise him. I just want to praise him, I just want to praise him, to shackle up my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise him, I just want to praise him, you broke my chain so I can lift my hand. I just want to praise him, I just want to praise him, to shackle up my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise him, I just want to praise him, you broke my chain so I can lift my hand. I just want to praise him. I just want to praise him. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise him. I just want to praise him. You know that chain now I can't lift my hand. I just want to praise him. I just want to praise him. In the corners of my mind, I just can't see in the corners. I really do believe that I can't pray. But you see, I have been down so long. But I'm not home with all that I've got in my hands. 
Presented here tonight, my God. Let spiritual magnet power be released, my God, over their finances. Wherever they have money, wherever they have wealth, Father, let it begin to multiply, my God. Let them begin to operate from a place of multiplication, Father, in the name of Jesus, my God. And so, Father, as they have honored you and honored your house today, my God, even those that are online that responded to the call, Father, let it be the same for them, O oh God. Lord, right now, every need that your people have, O oh God, because you're a good God, because you're a good Father, you will exceed, my God, every need, my God. In the name of Jesus and those that are online that won't, that won't able to be here today, that need a touch from you, Abba Father, my God. Your hand is not short. And so, Father, we stretch our hands towards them right now. And we decree and declare that they receive a second touch, my God. Corondo Robokiana Masion no Menemana. Let them receive a touch wherever they need a touch from you. Healing, deliverance, and transformation, my God. Even those that are believing you for their loved ones, Father. We speak answered prayer, God. That they will testify, my God, about answered prayer in this next couple days, Father. And they will send a good report, a praise report, my God, online, Father. And we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people say, Amen, Amen, Amen. Hallelujah. Woman of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let me hear a shout of praise. Let me hear a shout of praise. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Glory. Now, that's not the way we shout earlier. Amen. I command the same respect. Listen, I said, let everybody give us a shout of praise. Hey! I thank God for this man of God, this woman. I thank God for you all. Well, I thank God for you all. Apostles, we thank God for this. My God, oh, hallelujah. It's just been amazing, amazing. Amen. 
Glory to God. Now, if this is the first night, uh, uh, what you think tomorrow night is going to be like? Anybody can guess? If I were like you, glory to God. Um, um, hey, Diane, and if you got my text, right? You, you got my text, my, my flyer? I sent some flyer to many a people in this room. Right, my dear, you got my flyer, right? Glory, I just, yeah, but I just get that flyer. I was just sending it, sending it, and sending it. Glory to God. Amen. No, sometimes I, if I could give a word or two, I, I'll try. But if I can't, I just send it. Somebody just called, text me and say, she said, she says, it's ironic, Pastor Marshall, that you should text me. She said, I just woke up from a nap and I saw you and Pastor Sam in a dream. So she said, you better bet, you better bet your bottom dollar. She said, you better believe it. I'll be in the house on tomorrow. Amen. Glory to God. What am I saying? I'm encouraging you to not only share uh, 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 on Facebook, but I'm also in encouraging you to share in your telephone book. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Glory to God. Because the spirit of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. This is the house where... I can't hear you. This is the house where? Amen, amen, and amen. Please don't forget tomorrow. Five o'clock, that's right. Tomorrow it is five o'clock. Let me see five fingers. Five o'clock. Amen. Five o'clock we'll be here. Glory to God because obviously we want to have a whole lot of fun and, and, and get ready for Sunday morning. Amen. So um, um, five o'clock tomorrow and also... Um, um, again, invite someone. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Please don't forget, we got some scrumptious food outside in the cafe. Praise Jesus, somebody. Praise Jesus. Anybody work up an appetite in here? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. So, so there's some good eating outside. Please go to the cafe before you leave. Amen? Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Let's bow our heads, please. Oh, my God. Wow. All of gladness, thank God for you all. 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 Amen. Amen. I love OOG. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I just thank you for this time right now. I thank you for what we have received. I thank you. I just, there's an upward anointing in this house. I saw somebody, the person was sitting down, and two people helped them up. Two people helped up the person, and they started to walk out of the wheelchair. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. I saw it in the spirit realm, and it is so. It is so in the name of Jesus. So somebody better bring somebody in a wheelchair tomorrow, because they will be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if they're watching, you will be healed, and you could come in the house and give a testimony. Amen. Amen. Again, Father, we thank you for this time. Glory to God, my God, that we have uh, uh, been in your presence. Uh, this time that we have, my God, given you glory, adoration, and praise. Uh, Father, as we are about to depart, no, definitely not from your presence. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us all now and forevermore. And the saints of God say... Amen, amen, amen. Greet somebody.